No, I'm buying a figure over here. I'm not buying Mandarin oranges for Luna New Year. Why does she come in the wooden crate box? And this is how you open up the figure. Hello and welcome back to x Garni Vlog and Photography. Today will be a figure unboxing video. And this is only my second unboxing video to date because most of the time whenever I purchase new figures, I will just straight away go for a review because I don't see much of a point of doing unboxing videos. I'm not sure what the benefit is, but some figures are special enough to deserve an unboxing video of their own. This one is one of them. My most recent one was Quest Skills 1x7 Skill Passion Nick from Fit Brand Order. That is a huge figure with a huge box and a huge price tag. This one right here costs about half as much in comparison. Yeah. However, she weighs almost twice as much, which is kind of ridiculous. This is possibly the heaviest parcel for one single figure I have received in my whole life as a figure collector for the past 13 years or so. If, if the postal company is correct, this is 8 kilos. It is kind of ridiculous for a 1x7 scale figure. I thought I might have received a 3D printer instead of a figure. But yeah, this is very heavy. This parcel measures about 42 by 43 by 45 centimeters. Pretty large, but not the largest I have received in my lifetime, but definitely the heaviest. Maybe Apex Toys sent me a scale model temple to this to display this figure in, you know, the fortune deity, the god of wealth. Yes, there is such a thing in Chinese culture, in Asian culture, in fact, where you literally pray to the god to get richer. Yeah, all right. Let's open her up and see what it is like on the inside. So, yeah. Okay. On the box, it is written Genshin Impact Eclipsing Star Ningguang 1x7 skill figure. Eclipsing Star. Sounds pretty cheesy to me, to be honest. Foam. This is what we call, well, yes, polyurethane foam or PU foam in short. This is an excellent insulation and shock absorber material. A lot of photographers who transport their camera lenses in huge armored cases, they love this material as a protection for their camera lenses. So this is an excellent protective material and this is also the first time I'm seeing this in a scale figure packaging. Normally you would only see this in polystone statues, expensive resin statues, not PVC figures. So this is a very nice surprise. So as you can see, this is what it looks like on the inside and this whole thing it's very heavy. Now we finally have the answer why this figure of Ningguang is so darn heavy. Yeah, she comes in a wooden crate box. I mean, no, I'm buying a figure over here. I'm not buying Mandarin oranges for Luna New Year. Why does she come in the wooden crate box? And this is how you open up the figure. I think Apex Toys is trying a bit too hard over here to make the figure appear as premium as possible. You are paying about $200 for the figure, $50 for the box. Yeah, and maybe perhaps who knows how much it costs to ship 8 kilograms to your country. This is overkill, but 
nonetheless a pretty unique presentation for any figure out there. I shall take the box out and then I would like to show you guys something with this box over here. Alright, so personally I think Mihoyo's, sorry, Apex, Apex Toys, their intention with this wooden crate box is for you to use it as a diorama. This is my personal guess because you have clear windows on both sides. You can put the figure in the middle, display it, maybe insert some LED lights you know. This is a genius packaging design but at the same time, it is pretty overkill. So yeah. This is definitely the kind of box you won't throw away no matter how. This is very something very special over here. So enough about the box, let's put the box aside and look at the actual figure. That is what matters the most. Here we go, more wires, more metal wires to be removed. There are three wires to be removed. So one right here, and then you have one next to her head over here. And then another one, yeah, over here, right next to her leg. And there will have it, the unboxing of Apex Toys 1x7 scale Ningguang from Genshin Impact. This is a figure that is rather complex in the sense that there are so many parts and you are unlikely to be able to assemble it correctly on the first try without the instruction sheet that was included in the box. Please do refer to the instruction sheet. And this figure indeed impressed me based on initial impressions. I was concerned, just like a lot of you guys who follow me on my Facebook page, when photos of this figure surfaced from other internet users, where her face, especially her eyes, appeared to be not looking quite right. But at the same time, you need to remember that those are smartphone photos. So I was hoping the figure wouldn't turn out to be as bad as what we see in those photos. Fortunately, I can tell you guys a hit right now. She looks pretty good. Yeah. So any other additional details on this figure, I will cover it in her review in a second video which will be coming maybe in the next 4 or 5 days. I can't promise an exact date. But today's video has already given you guys a lot of insight 
into what to expect out of this figure. I mean, well, I paid about 1,550 Chinese yuan for this figure, including shipping from China to Malaysia. That is about a slight bit over a thousand Malaysia ringgit or about 240 US dollars. That is value despite the price, especially looking at that amazing packaging, those wooden crate box packaging earlier in this video. So I guess that is about it for today's unboxing video. Thank you very much for watching this rather lengthy video. This is a very special figure and I shall see you guys again in her review soon. Thank you very much and goodbye.